Hi, this is Finn Peacock from Solar Quotes, and this video I will go into more details of the first calculator on the website, the Electricity Savings Calculator, which will hopefully help you decide whether the solar power system you've been quoted is financially viable. And as I mentioned in the previous video, this first calculator is the one you want to use if you are considering paying cash for your solar system. So here's how you use it. Let's say we live in Victoria. Let's say we're looking at a three kilowatt system, fairly big system. Let's say we've been quoted a nice round $10,000 out of pocket for the solar system. That's the cost after all the rebates have been handled by the installer. A three kilowatt system in Melbourne will give you about 4,000 kilowatt hours a year in electricity. Again, that number should be on your quotation if it's not. Chuck it in the bin because uh, <laughs> go find another installer because that's a fairly important part of the quotation. Um, the price you pay for electricity, 19 cents is about right. And then let's have a look at these advanced options. Uh, these are interesting because not many um, other calculators take these into account. Annual bill inflation, electricity prices, as you probably know, are always going up. There, that's quite a uh, that's quite an optimistic, I, I would argue, quite optimistic for only 5%. If you're a pessimist, stick 8 9% in there. If you think electricity prices are going to go even higher due to carbon taxes and all that good stuff. Uh, Feed-in tariff, this is asking what percentage of your electricity do you think you'll export between the hours of 10 a.m. and 3 p.m., which is when the solar system is going to be uh, generating all that lovely solar electricity in Victoria. Uh, one of the few states that hasn't canned its feed-in tariff, you can still get 60 cents per kilowatt hour if you export your electricity, which is nice. So I'm going to make the assumption that I'm going to export about 60%. Technically, that's called a wild-ass guess because I haven't got a clue. Um, there are tools you can use to actually measure the amount of electricity you use and, um, and plot it against the time of day, um, which would be a much more scientific way, but 60% um, is a fair guess. Feed-in tariff duration, well those pollies in Victoria have promised the feed-in tariff will last for 15 years, touch wood, because politicians never break their promises do they? Um, so let's stick that in there. System degradation, um, this, you don't normally see this in many other calculators either, but all solar systems will degrade over time. Um, a good quality one, 0.5%, a cheaper one closer to 1% per year. So I think 0.5 is a good one because I'm getting a good quality system. Assume inverter replacement. Here's another one that not many people uh, take into account. I'm assuming as an electrical engineer that after 15 years that box of electronics will need replacing. A lot of people will bulk at this figure. think, wow, that's cheap, $800. But I think, you know, in 15 years, the electronics is going to be a lot, lot cheaper. So I think that's that's a fair price um, to replace the inverter in 15 years. And this is a really interesting one that no one else seems to include, but I think you have to. If It's called opportunity cost. If you're spending 10 grand up front on a solar system, that's 10 grand that you could have invested elsewhere. If you're investing it in a term deposit, for example, in Australia at the moment, I think you get about 6% per annum. Let's put that in there. See? In terms of working out the cash flow, the question this calculator answers is, you know, what's compared to putting the ten grand in the bank, and and this is crucial, using the interest every year to pay my electricity bill. If I instead use the ten thousand dollars to buy a solar system, which will help offset my electricity bill, which is the better option? How much better off am I compared to putting the money in the bank? Now, for the accountants among you. Uh, that you're going to say, oh, you should compound that interest. I'm going to argue, no, that's not the case because you have to use that interest to pay your electricity bill. But that's a whole other story. So that's that's the inputs. And in the next video, I'll go through how to read this graph, which has been calculated from all those inputs. See you in the next video.